What is going on, folks? Oh, man, this is going to really be controversial, but going to start telling the truth. We got to stop, start telling the truth and stop going off of making other people feel good based off of creating fictitious stories of harmony. So, one thing you always hear about folks that have issues with, with black people getting reparations is that they say, well, my ancestors or first they'll say that they weren't slave owners. And they don't have any direct ties to anybody that was a slave owner. And that is the argument that we're hearing. Which is what it is, right? But my response is, but your parents were doctors. Your parents were ambulance drivers, dispatchers. Your parents were firefighters. And they practice racism through their trade or profession. Where am I going with this? Well, I would say a few years back, there was a, a guy that was, um, I think he was in the, I think he was a firefighter or he was just in the field of, somewhere in that field of work. And he had ended up going to a restaurant waiting to be picked up something to that effect and there was a birthday party that was being held for this man that was in his 89 or something like that and he ended up having a celebration tons of people there and they're sharing stories and I don't know how it got to a point of him sharing with the black man that he was a firefighter. But when everybody left, they ended up talking. He just said, hey, man, looking young, man, as a, some type of compliment or joke. And the guy was like, oh, thank you. And he began to tell that black man that while it was a blessing to endure legacy and the blessing of reaching that age, he said there were a lot of regrets and nightmares. The black man said, oh, I could definitely think of, you know, being a firefighter and things that were going down. I mean, it's pretty much graphic and the scenery could probably bring most many nightmares. And he said, no, I don't think you understand. There were things that I, I did that I still can't live with myself. And the black man's like, you know, like what? And he's like telling him how him and his peers would go into houses and intentionally, houses that were on fire, places that were on fire, and intentionally not help black Americans. Intentionally. Meaning, letting them die. Not even trying to help them, not even attempting to save them. The last instance or incident that the firefighter could, could recall was a time when he went in, there was a black baby um, in a house fire, and then he was, you know, telling everyone he's gonna go in and save the baby, and he went in there baby was crying, baby was in there, had access to get him, said he couldn't hear him, said he couldn't see him, and walked out. Racism is worse than you thought it was. See, you literally just thought that the darkest segment of racism was when they were, were black folks were brought over here, expected to work 
16, 17 hours without being paid anything. They were raped. They were given scraps. They were mistreated physically, psychologically. They were molested. They were spit on. They were killed. They were maimed. They were cut. They were stabbed. They were whipped, chained. But nobody talks about after slavery and how these same folks that had hoods took those hoods off and put on uniforms of doctors and, and lawyers and firefighters. And we're all about contributing to the exterminating or the enslavement or confinement of black people. I was thinking about the reparations. They don't have a number. Any number that they think about giving to black folks is too low. Could you imagine? I'm thinking about the firefighters. Like, how many people that lost their lives in, in fires that could have been saved, but these individuals were like, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to help them. And I just think to myself, from a medical standpoint, how many people that went in there for things that they shouldn't have died for, but the doctors didn't intervene. The doctors just let them die on the table. Doctors didn't even perform CPR. What about the ambulances that were supposed to drop by if somebody have an emergency and drove out of the way just so that they wouldn't get there in time? Yeah, I really think you watch these movies and think that racism gonna be solved in a two-hour movie. If they really actually show what happened to black people, they wouldn't have been making it to the theater. And these folks that say that their family members weren't slave owners, and we could dive deep on that another time, they were doctors. And they were not, majority of your family was not taking a stand on the west, on the east, on the north, South, they were not taking a stand. They were laughing. They were quiet. They knew what was happening. And these were your grandparents. These were your aunts and aunts, great aunts and great uncles. Coming to the dinner table telling you what they did to these black folks. And everybody was laughing about it. And they have, individuals have the nerve to say that black people need to get over it. Never. Can't get over. They said when Martin Luther King got to the hospital after that time, he got shot. They said he was still alive. Many believe that he was suffocated in the hospital. And some people oh, that, that's not true. How can we trust? How can there be trust for any of these institutions? You got colleges that were built off of the revenue of actual slaves. Colleges. So when people look at black folks and say, why aren't they on their feet like these other groups? These other groups did not have the foot on their neck like black people have had. And that's one thing that people have always had in common that they've all hated black people. That's why you, somebody talking about, well, we got to be like Martin Luther King and, and you know, we, we, we got to do this, we got to do that. And 
and not will leave out the fact that Martin Luther King was killed with that approach. Had the positive approach, nonviolent approach, and still died violently. His mother was assassinated in church. Many of you say, well, he was assassinated by somebody black. Yeah, who paid them? So you have to understand at the end of the day that the FBI and the CIA were following King, not just when he was in his 20s, 30s and above. They were following him when he was a kid. They was following his dad. Because they already knew that he was going to be a change agent. They were following Malcolm X when he was in prison. Because anytime they see anyone that's going to change the condition of our people, they are saying to themselves, we are going to exterminate them. The CIA said they wanted to prevent a black messiah. Anybody that unified black people. Black Wall Street destroyed. Countless other communities that were trying to bootstrap. And they were actually following the bootstrap theory. No one else was following it. And they killed them. So when I thought about it, I heard this man talking about that firefighter story, I started thinking about all the professions that all y'all had some interactions with these people in your family. And if they were killing folks, contributing to it, turning the blind eye to the injustice, and they were making money, and they were putting money in your pocket, and they were paying for things for you. You have blood money on your hands. They can't make no movie. To capture what was done to our people. I, I mean, I remember a few comedians even saying, and there, you know, there's 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 a lot of truth in the joke. They were saying that there was a time when black folks will be in their kitchen and white people will go into their actual kitchen and take food out of the house, out of the kitchen, off their table, and just walk out. Just grab TV, grab anything, steal stuff openly, and walk right out. I don't think you want to talk about what actually happened to black folks because it never stops. And when they compare us to other folks, I don't think it's, I think it's a terrible comparison. We talking about here in the United States, there has never been anything done to a body of people as much as has been done to our people. They give reparations to everyone, even people that are getting paid for something that happened in another country are getting paid here but they call black folks lazy when the majority of people that are on welfare are not even black. The majority of people that are on Section 8 are not even black. The majority of people that benefit from government assistance ain't even black. But we lazy. I would actually think to myself, a system that built for you to win and you ain't succeeding, I would call you lazy. An entire system, an entire system meant for you, from education for you to win, from a justice system for you to win, from a health system for you to win. None of these systems that are in place in the United States were created for black people. None of them. We weren't even in the discussion. So when you talk about our founding fathers, founding fathers, fathers that founded a place off of killing. This country was not founded upon peace. It was not founded on love. It was not founded on togetherness. It was founded off of thievery. Bloodshed. 
But our people is always taught to turn the other cheek. I'm at a point right now, at this moment in time, we as a body of people, we have to learn how to build among ourselves. Anybody, and I want to tell you folks out there, anybody out there, if you come across anyone that tells you to get over history, get over the past, I will cut ties with them. We are the only body of people that are told to get over history. We will acknowledge every historical thing that has happened in the world, but we won't want to acknowledge what happened in this country. We'll turn a blind eye to the fact of how wealth of nations was made here. Was not made here by being ethical or keeping your promise. Y'all talk about Trump and you talk about Biden and you talk about all these folks. Let's talk about these firefighters. These doctors. Let's talk about the CIA. Let's talk about the FBI. Let's talk about the intellectual properties. All of these systems put in place. And the effect that they've had on our people. Racism is worse than you thought it was in America. And the problem is. Things still haven't improved. 